Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. Quite some time ago, I did a YouTube video talking about Bill Cosby and these rape allegations. And basically, I said that more likely than not, Bill Cosby probably committed these crimes. And today I was reading an article in Associated Press about this whole situation. And this article corroborates and supports the allegations of Bill Cosby's accusers. And I'm just gonna read a little bit from the article. And here's what it says. It says that Bill Cosby admitted in 2005 that he secured quaaludes with the intent of giving them to young women he wanted to have sex with, and that he gave the sedative to at least one woman and other people, according to documents obtained Monday by the Associated Press. And this article goes on to talk about how Bill Cosby's attorneys fought the effort to obtain these documents. The AP went to court to get an order in order to obtain uh, copies of the transcripts from Bill Cosby's deposition. And they finally um, received those documents and they have released them, you know, parts of them to the public. And this article further talks about how Bill Cosby would take the moral high ground and, you know, ride on his high horse and criticize the black community. In particular, he would criticize lower income African Americans. He would talk about how they um, haven't taken advantage of the opportunities provided as a result of the civil rights movement. He went on to badger poor black people, condemn them for engaging in pathological behavior. And while he was condemning black people, this man had all these skeletons in his closet, all these skeletons that proved that this man was not in any kind of moral position to criticize black people, to criticize his own people. Now, I just want to go back to these allegations. They support the arguments that were raised by the accusers again, because all these people who accused him say that Bill Cosby drugged them and that he later either raped them or sexually abused them. And here he is in his own deposition stating that he obtained drugs and he used those drugs in order to have sex with women. I mean, if you can't see the parallels between the allegation and his admissions, then you are blind. Then you are ignoring reality. And I'm sure that there are plenty of people who are so blinded by celebrity that they will defend this man no matter what. No matter what evidence is presented, they will continue to defend him. I'm sure that there are people who still try to rationalize the possibility of a massive secret conspiracy against Bill Cosby. They just want to imagine that all these people that happen to know Bill Cosby all got together and conspired with TV executives in order to undermine Bill Cosby. They present zero evidence whatsoever to back up this nonsense, but they insist on believing this foolishness in spite of Bill Cosby's own testimony. And I'm sure that there are conspiracy theorists right now putting up YouTube videos trying to explain this nonsense. It seems as if many in the black community naturally want to defend black celebrities. They naturally want to circle the wagons and defend them no matter what, no matter how wrong they are. If it's a black man 
they feel obligated to defend them, even if that celebrity is wrong as hell. Just like you have people defending a man that beat his, his soon-to-be wife in the elevator, knocked her unconscious. You had these black men on YouTube defending that clown. You have a black man that beat a celebrity. You have black people defending him. You had a black man urinating on young African-American girls and people defended that guy regardless of the despicable nature of the allegations against him. But this is the mentality that people have. They always find an excuse. They always find a conspiracy. Here you have all these women telling consistent stories about the, you know raising the same types of allegations over an extended period of time. And you have a man who admits that he obtained drugs in order to have sex with women. And you have a man who has joked about drugging women. In some of his comedy routines, he jokes about this. But yet, despite all of that, you have these people who are so loyal to this man that they will believe anything against uh, for him. They will believe anything for him. They will defend him with their last breath. See, people have it twisted. They think that Bill Cosby is Dr. Huxtable. Dr. Hustable was a character on a television show. He's not a real-life person. There's a difference between Dr. Huxtable and Bill Cosby. Some about how people think that because someone played a beloved doctor on a great television program, that somehow that means that they are completely incapable of committing these crimes. Some people think that because this man gave money to black colleges, that somehow that means that he is incapable of committing these crimes. They think that somehow that means that he can do and say whatever when it comes to black people, simply because he gave money to black colleges. People think that because this man is famous, just famous in general, that he can do no wrong. Well, it's time for us to wake up. You know, and I realize that the man hasn't been convicted of a crime and that no, uh, he hasn't been criminally charged with anything at this point. I understand that full well, but that also doesn't mean that we have to suspend common sense and logic. It doesn't mean that we have to just blindly defend this man and blindly, you know, accept his position just because he's Bill Cosby. If this was anybody else, we wouldn't even have a debate or discussion about this matter. It wouldn't even be up for debate or discussion because the evidence is clear and obvious. You know, it's obvious that there is a pattern of behavior here. But people are going to believe what they're going to believe. And, you know, really, I'm just asking for people to have common sense and to open their eyes to what's going on.